Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marquita, and on this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys another flip through for this year. Yeah, I know, I said that my last flip through is gonna be the last one, but I decided to give you guys one more for 2019 because I think I finally figured out my setup for 2020. So, if you're new here, I hope that you'll stick around. I hope you like it here, so much so that you'll give me a thumbs up on this video and also subscribe to my channel. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. If you wanna see a flip through of this planner here, make sure to stay tuned. So I'm still rocking these expander discs, y'all. I need them. <laughs> so I'm not able to go down to the classic size discs, y'all. Otherwise, I will be using discs from my shop. You guys know I do have discs now and I wanna use them so bad because I'm loving the rose gold, but I can't because I still need these discs, y'all. My planner is chunky. She is just too chunky to go back down to the regular discs. So I'm not sure how this is gonna work out. I may have to end up keeping these expander discs. We'll see, but I'm loving this gray cover, which is from the Inkwell Press, by the way. I will link it below. I'm not sure if it's still in stock because last time I mentioned it, guys, it sold out in like 30 minutes. It was crazy. And so I, that's what I'm using right now. And I love it because the size is perfect. It does fit, again, the classic size happy planner, which is perfect for my needs. And I love how neutral it is and it works very well with these silver discs. So that's what I'm using now. Again, I'll link it in the description box. You can head on over there and see if it's still in stock. If not, their covers do fit the classic size happy planner, which is still good news and it's still reasonable. So let's go ahead and open this baby up. Y'all, I am using my studio lights. So pardon that glare right there, nothing I can do about it but um yeah so let's just keep rocking and rolling first and foremost i am using some um jelly i have not decided if i'm going to add this to my shop or not isn't it so gorgeous though look at how pretty it is it's got that iridescent look and it's just what i need to keep this page protected and give me a little pop of color so that's what i've got first also let me talk about my top tabs and side tabs really quickly so as you guys know i have top subjects which are like my main subjects and then i've got some side tabs going on as well I love having the top tabs it makes it easy to flip through what I'm looking for and on the back I can see those same top tabs to get to it when I'm on this side of my planner so these are available in my shop and frosted and clear I have tons of sizes so you should be able to find what you're looking for if you are interested in these no pressure okay I just want to let you know what I've got going on I also have a Tombow Fudnowski pin up here, my favorite pin loop, and then I've got a Muji pin here on the side. I love this Muji pin. I ordered it in like a pack of 24, and so that way I could have them, and when they ran out, I, I wouldn't have to order more anytime soon. So that's what I've got going on there. So my top tabs are calendar, home, budget, family, fitness, faith, school, wellness, personal, business, lists, and inbox. And these are just what work for me. So let's go ahead and get this flip through going. First and foremost, I've got my name here. I did put it in rose gold. These are available in my shop as well. Uh, the rose gold name decals. I have them in, I think, two or three script fonts. And so first I've got my 2020 year at a glance. This is the hello page that comes with every full year of inserts from my shop. So it says, hello, this little Miss Fancy Plans 2020, 2021 planner belongs to my name here so that's really pretty sets the tone for the whole planner and then we've got 2020 year at a glance inserts so everything is pretty much neutral i do have some happy planner stuff in here so it's kind of a hybrid setup it is frank and planned and basically what that means is that there are several different inserts kind of combined all to make one planner so that way i have everything all in one Every single thing that I do throughout my life is in this planner, which works out great for me. I am gonna be doing a planner lineup video soon and I'll show you guys what other planners that I'm using. But for the most part, this is my main planner. I do have a half sheet planner, which I use for note taking and lists. And I've got some other planners as well. But for the most part, this is it y'all. 
So this is my 2020 year at a glance. It's great for pre-planning. Again, with the neutral vibes, which I love, because that means if I want to throw a sticker in here, it will pop out on the page. And so I love how this looks. So this is, of course, January through December, and it's just so helpful to have it there for pre-planning. So first section is my calendar section. So I keep this calendar uh, dashboard divider, excuse me, in the current week. So this is the current week that we're on. So that's where that calendar insert stays. And then the December monthly will get me quickly through to the month, the December dashboard, excuse me. And so my December is right here, already decorated, looking cute. So I do keep January through December as far as the dashboards are concerned. But in terms of the inserts within the dashboards, I typically only keep one month, maybe two, because it's already chunky enough. I don't need to add any additional. But as you'll see, I have a way to pre-plan for the next month if need be. I also do have a purse planner, which I do pre-planning in. And so, um, so it's okay that I don't have that particular month in here. So this is December. I have the whole entire month of December again. And so this is my spread for December. And then that's that first week. You guys know I do use the subject style inserts from my shop, love it, because it allows you to break down each area in your life that needs to be planned for, especially if you don't want to go all out and do all these subjects like I do. Having it, using the subject style inserts, in my opinion, kind of mimic that. Like I have a faith section in here. I have a school section. I have a fitness section in here. I have a home section in here in terms of the top tabs and so I can uh, break things out here even further. I can add details in those sections. It just works for me that way. And so this is the first spread of December and then we are in that second week of December. Well, actually, are we in the second? Yeah, we are. We are. <laughs> and so this is the current week that we're on right now. Super pretty spread. I use the Teresa Collins Be Happy box. So again, when I'm turning to my calendar to see what I have going on for the day, I am going to this calendar section here from the top and that gets me exactly where I need to be. This is a new insert from my shop, which is today's plans. Just allows you to break some things down and then I've got my grocery list on the back and that's the second half of the spread. And so I've got the remainder of December in here. On the back of all of my inserts is a notes page because that's just how I operate. I don't really use that uh, other page here, that dashboard page for the next month. I don't really use that from the Happy Planner. So I decided when creating my inserts to just put a notes page here. I don't know, I just don't use it. I don't use it. So that's what I've got going at the end of every month. So then when we get to January, cause again, I keep all of the dashboards in here. I just don't keep the calendar section in there. I may throw January in here later um, cause it's not as bulky, but I don't want to get out of control. And so I just put a piece of fill paper in each section. So that way, if I want to pre-plan, write in some notes really quickly for that particular month, I don't have to have that month inserts in here. I can just write it on this sheet of fill paper. So that's what I've got for each and every month for 12 months. So it's always gonna be this case. So what I'll do is once January comes, I'll go ahead and pull December dashboard out, put it in the back here, right here in this spot, and then I'll go ahead and throw a piece of fill paper in there. And I'll just do that for every month going forward and that uh, is gonna work for me, hopefully, and if it doesn't, I'll tweak it up. So I've got all of that for the remainder, or for 12 months. So that's how I do that. And then I have my block schedule back here with a little Erin Condren paper clip on it. I have a neutral version. A lot of this stuff is in my shop, so I'm not gonna say that's for my shop. This is for my shop. You guys already know. Um, and if you have a question about it, you can just go search my shop or ask me and I'll let you know. But for the most part, all of this is gonna be my inserts and there are some Happy Planner inserts in here as well, which you'll be able to easily identify. So I've got a blank one here and this was just a mess up from my shop and I didn't wanna waste it, so I just kept it. And then I've got the one that I have pre-filled. And this is the older version, this is the newer version. Next section is home, as you can see from the top. And within the home section, I have the home management expansion pack. I love it from the Happy Planner. There's no reason for me to try to create anything to, um, you know, in place of that for right now, because eventually I'm gonna create some inserts for some of these other sections, like fitness and wellness. But for right now, I'm just gonna use what's available to me because my plate is full, y'all. So I'm not gonna go and uh, reinvent the wheel, so to speak. Right now, I will go ahead and just save that for later. I'll put it on my to-do list. And then eventually I'll have those types of inserts in my shop as well. So I have the home management expansion pack, the neutral one. This is the second version they came out with. Uh, the first section is chores. So I just keep in there what they already have. Second section is meal planning. 
I do have meal planner inserts, so that's the only thing that I recreated, so to speak, but it is a yearly meal planner. I do also have regular meal planner inserts in my shop as well, uh, which I don't have in here. I don't believe, you may see it. I don't think I have it in here. And so this is the remainder of 2019. So I had October, November, December, and this is a great way to plan out your whole entire month of meals. And then my meal planner uh, for 2020, this is the same thing that you just saw. It's just for 2020. So that's what I've got there. And then I have some weekly meal plan inserts. I just like to keep a couple of them in here. This is from the home management expansion pack that came with it. So I just keep a few of those in there because I like to switch it up and add some variety to my spreads and stuff. Because typically I'll pull this out and put it within that week's spread. So that way I can have everything listed out. So I switch things up and add different things as you know my needs change. And you know, depends on how I feel. I also like to keep a few recipe cards in here for planning on the go. And then also, I'll keep that particular recipe, whatever I'm cooking for the week, I cook three times a week, I'll keep that within my planner so that way I can easily look and see what we have going on for that week. Then once I'm done and I've cooked those for the week, uh, they go back into my recipe keeper. So again, these are from the older recipe keeper and then these are from the newer recipe keeper. So I just like to have some variety. And then this is from the new foodie collection. So I just keep those in here just so I can, you know, do a little planning. I love recipe keeping and planning. It's my favorite part of planning. As you guys know, if you're new to my channel, you wouldn't know that, but it is my favorite part of planning. And so this is a, a very well utilized section. I also have some paper in here from the new block pad from the Happy Planner from the Foodie Collection. I have four sheets of those. This is new. And so I decided to pop some of these in my planner as well. The next section is the project section. You guys know I'm a big DIYer or do-it-yourselfer. I do lots of projects around the house. And so in 2020, it's my goal to really use this section a lot more than I use it. Plus I am switching up my YouTube schedule, guys. I put a poll out on my Instagram and asked you guys to choose between two different schedules. And you guys chose that you wanted me to do a craft or DIY video on Fridays, as opposed to my usual um, business and social media plan with me. And then you also want to do a meal planning Mondays instead of Fobonichi or Skinny Mini Mondays. So that's exciting. So you'll be seeing a lot of this home section coming up. So this again is from the home management expansion pack from the Happy Planner. Within here there are some project sheets and then Happy Planner does also have other project sheets that you can utilize as well. So I just kept some of those in here so that I can do some planning coming up soon. Lots of projects to come around the house that I want to share with you guys on my channel. And so these project sheets are going to be great for that. So that's all I have in the project section. Then we come to the budget section. So I don't really use the budget section that much y'all. I have to admit that my husband and I use a spreadsheet. We are totally digital. And I started out planning on my channel with budget planning and using the Happy Planner for that. But I have been hit or miss y'all. So I have the Go Wild 2020 that was supposed to be a savings tracker y'all. I am trying to plan on going to Go Wild, but I didn't, I didn't write in it. I don't know why. Just, planned it out but it's so pretty that I want to keep it in there and I want to remind myself that I am trying to go I just didn't plan it out although I have been saving for it so yeah I just need to write in maybe I don't know I don't think it's that big of a big uh, I don't think it's that big of a deal but I do like how it looks and so I kept it in there next is the budget section so this actually is supposed to go before the project section so that's why these two are out of order but i did a whole tab for it at the top for budget so i had to figure out a way to get it away from those other inserts because i think it should be a standalone section although i don't budget plan <laughs> And so I just kept it here, these month at a glance budget pages that came with the expansion pack. I think they're super cute. Love how neutral they are. They're so darn pretty. Then in 2020, I think I am going to start back budgeting again. Um, but I am going to only budget for my shop because that's what I did in the past. I didn't budget for the family because again, we use a spreadsheet for that. I only budgeted it for my shop. And so I think that that is still important to do. And so between these inserts here and my new budget expansion, or not budget expansion, but budget and expense tracker inserts, I should be covered. So these again, from my shop, very neutral, undated. And so I can use these to do my expenses and all that and, and such and all that and all that as well. Because as you can see from here, there is no expense tracker. And so that's where my inserts will come into play. So that's what I've got here. 
And then I kept the stickers in here because I think they're so cute. And when I want to plan on the go, I'll have some stickers that I can use. So uh, next up, I have a pocket folder. This is from the budget planner set from the Happy Planner. I'm not sure if it's an expansion pack or how it came. It might've come in the budget planner, but I use that for like receipts and miscellaneous things that pertain to budgeting. Stay in that folder. And then I've got my family section. I love this section. I am working on it because I completely revamped it, took all of the inserts out and I'm starting fresh. So you guys will see that journey as well. And so within this section, I started a Sunday routine. Um, I just like the way this looked. I did create it and I do go by it. I didn't finish the hourly, but I thought it was so cute that I kept it in here because I do now have a weekly routine insert in my shop. And so this one's super cute though, cause it's got like pop outs and all that good stuff. And so super cute. So I just kept it in there. And then I've got a little journaling card from the Happy Planner. And then these are brand new from my shop. These are weekly routine inserts where you could put the person's name or you could put the day of the week or you put the month or not the day of the week, but whatever week you're on or whatever month you can write it up there. And then you could put your little subjects here on the side. And so mine are personal, home, faith, family, and what does that say y'all <laughs> business biz and so this is my routine of things that occur on a weekly basis on whatever day they occur on i think it's super important to have a routine and so this can be done on a weekly basis and again this is routine things so this isn't like appointments and outings and things like that this is stuff that you want to do on a weekly basis and so i'm still working on it and what i'll probably do is rewrite it because i don't know, I always do a test draft and then after that i rewrite it so i've got a couple of these going on in here on the back you could put your standard weekly schedule that is on a weekly basis that doesn't change like your work schedule or whatever schedule that you tend to um, do daily Daily is what you want to put here so that's actually shouldn't be weekly schedule should be daily schedule so I need to go in and change that before you guys order so this is your weekly and then this is your daily hourly schedule um, although it could actually technically say weekly because it is really a weekly well, yeah well it's your weekly schedule in terms of you know 7 a.m. every day this is what you do 8 a.m. every day this is what you do so I don't really have to change that but I don't know you guys let me know should I should it be weekly or daily uh, so I've got a few pages of those in there and then we've got the January inserts for my family inserts which are I think the hourly so this is from my shop I went ahead and decorated the monthly these are things that do not change so this is a monthly routine and so these again um, from month to month this is the standard stuff that we do as a family but i just thought it would be super cute to have it all on the monthly spread and then i broke this section down even further i broke it down by the person in our family so this is my husband myself my son my daughter and then additional relatives and so each person has their own section within their section i pop random things in that are important and pertain to only that person and then also that person is going to have a weekly routine so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep these in here because that's what these were going to serve as. And what I was going to do is just cover up those days of the week because it wouldn't need to be, you know, it's not going to be pertaining to a specific day of the week. It'll be by the person. So I'm not sure how exactly I'm going to use these yet, if I'm going to keep these here or if I'm just going to keep that person's weekly routine in here. We'll have to see. And so that's what I've got in each person person's section. I put my husband because he's the head of the household, then myself, then my son because he's older, and then my daughter Addison. And then our relatives will be the same way. It'll be weekly routine for them um, in terms of what I want to do. Like I want to call my grandmother. I want to get with my niece. I want to do this for my nephew or whatever have you. That will be what goes in this section. So you'll see the evolution of this in 2020 and exactly how I plan to use it. And so that's what I had here. Just a little running list of what I wanted to do. Weekly calls and check-ins uh, for each family member. And just remembering personal uh, things that are happening in their lives. I think that's super important. Uh, and so I'm hoping to, to really, really embrace that more so in 2020. And then I had some notes, some random notes here for stuff that I needed for the household. And I've got just, again, random notes that probably will be purged. And then this was for Addison's graduation party, a little uh, insert that I made to plan for her party, which you guys saw a video on my channel for. So this really does need to go in her section. Uh, so we'll probably add that later. 
and then we get to the fitness section so as you guys know keto is my go-to diet so i like to keep notes in here on intermittent fasting uh, keto diet some quick notes and um, foods and stuff that are easy to uh, you know plan meals around and just some cheat sheet type stuff i keep in there and then i've got the fitness insert so how i was going to use this this is the schedule at my gym of all of the classes and then i was going to do like a challenge here like day one um, do 10 crunches day two do you know whatever i decide and i never i never did it <laughs> And so I am going to be doing uh, Fit Keto again in 2020. Super excited to get back on that bandwagon. And so I am going to write in all of those details I just discussed with you guys on here. And so that way it'll motivate me. It'll give me something I can do daily. And I'm really, really getting back on that fitness bandwagon. And I'm going to take you guys on the ride with me. So I use the original fitness planner inserts because I think they're fantastic. I did not think that they, they needed to be changed. I love them so much. I don't like the new ones. And um, the reason for that is because they're undated, first and foremost. Secondly, I love how neutral they are. I love how it says breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner. I mean, to me, it's just perfect the way it is. So I, I always tend to reach for these as opposed to like Healthy Hero was cool. I did have it, but I didn't really like that layout. And so the fitness planner that, that they have now is just is not my jam. I like this layout. And so this is what I'll be using for 2020. And so I've got these inserts in here for the weekly. And I was planning on making some of my sections standard sections. And I don't, I'm not sure how that's gonna work in terms of the fitness. Um, I do have a standard section again for like my family stuff. That calendar doesn't tend to change. It doesn't change at all. It's a standard calendar. And that helps me to not feel so overwhelmed with planning because there's a lot that you could plan for and you could get overwhelmed with all of it. And so I try to make some of my sections standard if possible. And so this was one, gonna be one of those and how I was gonna use it, I was gonna just do sample meal plans. And I may end up doing that actually. Um, I may just do like a week one meal plan this is what I'm going to do for week one week two or just standard in general and then I'll say well this week I want to do this meal plan this week I want to do this meal plan so we'll see we'll see because it's not going to be too much different you know in terms of keto the only thing is that you're not tracking real-time stuff and I do want to have a journal of, of things that I'm eating and it be accurate if that makes sense then we get to the face section. Within the face section, I've just got some fill paper, mini fill paper. I've got my weekly study schedule, and then I have new inserts in my shop. I always keep the one that's messed up. And so this is pertaining to my religion. And so that's why I don't use the faith planner from the happy planner, because this is just specific for me. And I do have these available in my shop. And so these just work for me. So that's what I've got in here. Then we get to the school section. I was using the dashboard layout, but I decided that I'm gonna break school out on my general calendar, which you saw earlier. Um, in my subject layout at the bottom, there's a place for school. And so I no longer use that planner. So all I have in here is just my school calendar, the yearly calendar. And then I've got a little journaling card that you just saw. And then this was the school checklist as far as supplies were concerned for the kids. And so I just keep that in here. This is my daughter's kindergarten schedule and contact information and all that good stuff is in here. So I just keep this tucked in here. I am the room mom for her class. So uh, anything that pertains to that goes in this section. Just all things school go there. My son is homeschooled and he does work uh, very well on his own. So I don't really tend to have to do too much with his school. Uh, next section is wellness. This is a section I'm really trying to embrace in 2020. I kept the wellness inserts from the Happy Planner in here because I do want to write in here for 2020. And then I have my inserts here. So the layout that I'm using, and I said I was going to make this a standard section as well. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. So I was going to use wellness for like family doctor's visits, uh, checking, you know, different things that's going on health wise and our live dentist appointments, dentist, you know, things like that. I was going to track in here. So I was going to make this a standard section that's why I started covering up the dates with white out but I think I'm going to reprint the monthly for this and use it real time you know use it on a weekly basis so we'll see and then also like detoxing like wellness actual related stuff is going to be here in here as well so we'll see how this section evolves over time also so this is the vertical layout from my shop very neutral as you can see love neutral those colors are really going to pop on that page so next section is the personal section not quite sure how I'm gonna use this yet. I just think personal things that pertain to me are gonna go here. So I've got some filled paper from the Happy Planner and I've got some notes paper from my shop. 
and uh, I'm not really sure what, what all is going to go in here. Just stuff about me. And uh, so we'll have to see how that works out. Next is business. You guys know I was using the business um, planner. Well, not the business planner, but I was using an Erin Condren life planner for my business and social media planning. And it got to be too much to have all of these planners, you guys, in my mind right now. I just want one planner with everything in it. So I'm taking it back to my Franken Franken plan planner that I started out with from the beginning and always said I would never have multiple planners. This is what that's going to be. And this is working out very well to just have business and everything here. So when I get ready to go upstairs and plan in my bed, I don't have to take a whole stack full of planners because I already got a whole stack full of stickers. <laughs> I just want one planner to take upstairs. If I want to stick this in my purse, I want to know that everything from my life is in this planner. And so it has been working out really, really well for me to have my business in here now. So this is video content ideas. So I have a whole list of ideas. Uh, this, this says plan date, film, edit, upload, thumbnail, description, end screen, card tags, and post to social media. So these are great for planning your video content ideas for YouTube if you're a YouTuber. And then the insert that I'm going to be using for my business is from my shop as well and it is the vertical lined insert uh, so this is the monthly so I didn't plan these last two weeks for my video ideas but I am gonna write those in eventually and then this is the first week of December with a little to-do list insert on there with some videos I wanted to film I think I wanted to yeah or some photos that I wanted to take so so that worked out great and then this is the current week spread and I just went for a black and white look. Super cute, match my nails, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then this is the Instagram feed planner that has been really popular in my shop. You guys love this thing. It has really helped you guys, hopefully. And so I keep this in my week to week because I typically don't go by the month. There are over 30 spots on here, I think. No, there's 30 spots. So not over 30 spots, but you have enough for 30 days of planning for Instagram. But since I post multiple times a day, um, two to three times, then mine is going to look a bit, little bit different. But how it works is this always going to be the location of how your feed looks. You know, when you post this video, eventually, I mean, excuse me, when you post this photo, eventually this is where it's going to be in your timeline. So you can look at this page kind of like your timeline on Instagram to see how things are going to look. You can color this box in, this box, this box, if you want to see like, you know, you want this... You want a pink look you want these photos to be pink you know what i mean like you could be strategic and planning it out so anyways that's what i got there and then on the back is photo shop list ideas with photo caption instagram ideas i'm sorry hashtag ideas and if it was posted so that's what i've got here and so i've got the inserts for the remainder of the year and then on the back i just had some notes there and then i keep some additional fill paper here a instagram another page that you just saw, saw weekly plans and then a bills um, and expense tracker insert and then these are some video ideas i had so i just wrote them in on the social media inserts from the happy planner and then <laughs> y'all i have not even started that planner 101 series remember i've been talking about that planner 101 series for the past like six months have not done it yet but i do have the videos already written out that i want to do just haven't done it yet this is my old schedule now my I just told you guys my schedule has changed again and so I'll need to probably purge this out but I want to write all of these ideas probably on some fill paper from my shop or something like that um, so we'll see how that all works out then we've got more video ideas these are just video ideas and then this is from a book I was reading and I started writing notes on it. Then I uh, was developing a full, and, and I probably still will, develop a full home management planner. And so this was some ideas of sections and things like that that I wanted to make sure I included. Then the next section is lists. And within here, I just got some blank fill paper. And eventually this will be filled with some lists or types of lists that I want to create because I do have my Fobonichi half sheet planner that uh, is supposed to be for lists. Then I've got an inbox section and then this is just a folder here and this is just for random stuff that I want to dump in here. And then the last section here is for extras. As you can see, there's a tab here for extras and this is just extra stuff, extra fill paper. All that stuff stays housed back here. And then I've got, I'm not sure what this is. Oh, this is what I was using in place of that, um, this uh, jelly paper. But now since I have the jelly paper, I just put this back here and it kind of keeps this away from the paper. So I have an additional page to flip to get to these stencils here. Super cool. So that's it for the planners and all that stuffed inside of this chunky baby. And so again, at the back, I have my two pin loops 
This is from Inkwell Press. This is from uh, Amazon. And I have my Tomo Funowski and my um, Muji pen. And then that's it. That's it, y'all. So that is my planner. I think it looks so clean with those neutral looking tabs on the side. I don't like a lot of color. So I probably eventually maybe will cut off these dividers. I'm not sure. This is from the fitness plan. I'm not sure how I'm going to work that because I don't like that purple just sticking out for no reason. This one's fine because it's rose gold and that one's rose gold. But otherwise, everything looks really neutral from the side and from the top. And that's just the way I like it. I like a clean look. And so that is it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you are happy that I decided to do another flip through because again, I did say that was my last one. But since I made so many changes, I thought I would just share those with you. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. You got some inspiration out of it. You found maybe some stuff you want to use in your planner. I always link everything that I'm using within my planner below in the description box so you can check that out if you want to see exactly what some of this stuff is and how you can find it so hopefully again you have been inspired you know how you want to set your planner up for 2020 and you have your lineup already it's super exciting so hopefully um, I plan on sharing my lineup with you guys in the future so stay tuned for that so thank you guys so much for joining me today hopefully you enjoyed this video so much so that you'll consider subscribing and also giving me a thumbs up on this video and you will join me for another video and which case, I'll see you then.